What's up everyone, B-Boy Morcio and I'm here at Brick Advice. Today I'm going to teach you one of my basics, some moves that I create out of the basic and I made in mine. And I'm going to explain you right, step by step, body control, strength, step by step until the real move. So first point, as everybody know, I'm a palm mover. So let's start with something basics. Uh, I've been creating my own body control out of some moves and of, out of some years of experience. And uh, let's start basically with stretching that I try to always find my own way to stretch, which I've learned that some part of stretching and some direction of stretching are really helpful in body control, especially in power moves, which you need a big body control. So the first thing that we need in power move is having a good shape. And for having a good shape, we need, of course, a good split. So well, I'll just show first about how I just stretch my, my split. So first of all, I'm always trying to put the chest in the front. Why? Because if I do it like this, in the palm moves, I'm never like this. Means I'm always chest in the front. So it means every part of stretching that I'm doing, I'm always having trying to have the same position body as I'm in palm moves. So the first is chest in the front and always trying to first turn quickly the legs to having the hip exactly in the same position as I could have when I'm doing flare or any type of movement when my legs are going on the right and on the left. The second one will be the, I don't know how you call it right in English, but like the closing from the chest to the legs. So same technique, always the chest in the front, trying to always bring the chest more far as we can and not trying to go close it as the legs. Because the more we go down here, if I put it just down here, then I go directly down. Which is the movement that I need in power moves for my back, for my legs. This one, so always trying to put the chest in the front, trying to don't push too much, just feeling the right limit with the pain and not trying to overgo of the limit because it's gonna hurt your body. Okay, next one, as I'm doing palm moves, the one I'm gonna show you is gonna be up in the air, in the half layer, so I need to, you to make you understand what you mainly need as a control from the up body. So first, a few exercises that I can show, it's easily, to bounce from one hand to another, from the left to the right, and then slowly just trying to bring the leg here because every time I'm putting my, my arm, I'm every time having my leg on the side. So it's really important to feel the, the right balance control from one side to another, and then same with the other one, boom. Then slowly up a little bit more. And if you can, if your flexibility are able to make it, then you go a little bit up, boom. So from down, pop. You go slowly up. Exactly this position I'm having right now, it's gonna be the position that I'm gonna jump from half left from one to another. Which means that if I feel comfortable already with this flexibility here, I'm gonna be able to play more with the position of my hip and legs while I'm gonna push. So this one, it's really one of the most important points you can have. Same with the landing here. Up, up, up. So we did the flexible part. Now let's go more into the strength part, which we mainly need also. So same thing, we did it upside, like on the flexibility, but we do it simply in the front. Sounds super basic, but this kind of exercise will make your body having the right line of control about stability. Means if you just used to go with a speed, go from one end to another and push, you can make it anytime you want. But one day, when comes the moment when your body gets tired, you will of course feel that's gonna be like, and that will make you fall, and that will make you lose the control of the movement. If you are used the whole time to just fix a bar of maintaining from one to another, up, 
you're going to be able, even the muscle tired, to just keep the line straight, which is really important in any rotation movement to keep always the same level. Then is saving energy, having more control, and of course, more possibilities out of it. Another combining movement out of this, you start both legs, both arms in the same level. So you go, you cross, boom, open. Same on the other side, open, 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 open. Okay, so what this does here, it puts you on the situation when you have to hold yourself out of the shoulder and out of the feet. So all this makes a line of stability. If your feet will be here, I'm gonna fight to get a control. If your feet is gonna hurt too much in the back, I'm gonna fall. But if your feet makes a line out of it, then you can get the, po the point of control. This exercise will help you for any transition from a flare to half flare. Why? Because when you're gonna be here and you know how to lift your leg, and at the same time, having the shoulder up and the upper body in this level, you're gonna be used to like organically move up and down. From any transition, it will help you. So why one side, why another? Because no matter which side of palm moves do you do, this one or this one, there's a moment you are in one arm. Leg up, there's a moment you switch to two, and there's a moment back to the other one, which means if you control both sides of your hip and shoulder, you are able to have the same stability from one side to another in a rotation movement. Means more control, control means more possibilities. We've been working on the floor for controlling lines, body parts, legs, arms, both together. We've been just doing this fits on the floor. Now we come up and my movement will be a rotation movement where I pass to one hand, go to another, push, land again on this one, which means I need a control from the left arm and the right one. The basic movement to just learn how to control and feel comfortable in one arm, you start, you look to the front, you put a, you imagine just a line from your both feet on the left and on the right crossing you, so now you go with your left arm, right arm, this has to be connected. When I mean connected is, this has to be contract and not like this. And I just go easily, put my body and my weight on my line on the left to go on the heart. So it goes like, boom. And you see without forcing, I just go on the left, automatically my body comes as a freeze because I'm going to turn my weight and push my direction exactly on the side I want to. So it comes naturally and I come back on the same point. Nothing shake. Why? Because I'm controlling this one and this one. And if you look, boom, nothing moves. So it gives me a strength and a stability. Now we go from the other side, exactly the same thing. Boom, boom, come back. And again, boom, boom, come back. You can make any position you want to. If you want to make this one or any type of freeze, Oh, this one and come back is exactly the same technique on the left and on the right. Now I try to correct why am I doing this on the side and not in the front as everybody think I can do a freeze here. Because it's gonna be two things to do at the same time. The first is putting my body to the front and as I have to make a freeze, I will have to turn, which means a lot of more work for a simple move. I show you, boom, boom. And you see my body because I give a rotation out of stability I turn on the left and my legs shake and I fall a little bit on the side. Okay, now comes, I will say, the main thing that you need to know how to do if you wanna do a simple hair flare or any type of hair flare. As I just showed before, you need a control in one arm and another. Now comes, you need to know how to push your body in the air and you need to know how to land from another move in another arm. Both the push and the landing you get to learn it from a single move that is simply this one. You go to a freeze, same as I said, on the side, and you make a single jump, come back. Now I show you a little bit slowly how it looks like. I go to my arm, 
you know, upside down, I'm like this, I go to my arm, this never move yet, I didn't jump. I bring my legs up here, and I will push with the shoulder and the legs at the same time. If I put the, push the legs and I don't move the shoulder, I will never jump. If I push the shoulder and I don't move the legs, I will need a superhero power to just lift myself. If I put those together, it goes like, boom. Then I'm able to jump, and as you can see, to land. Which means when I land, my body are stable. Why? Because I push and I land with all the same, exactly the same technique as I show, boom. If I let a little bit like relax, I will do this. Okay, now comes the second arm. So this one, I will call it the push. No matter which arm you use to push, let's say my left one is the one. Now comes on the right one to land. I can work in the same exercise, but I will show you even another one if you want to. I'm standing and I will just jump, which is gonna be somehow the landing, or I'm gonna make a jump and the landing. And as you can see, if I'm able to receive the weight of my body out of the jump, I'm able to land on it. So now comes, let's try to combine the jump, let's try to combine the landing. So, as I said, I'm taking this line that people can see on the camera or over my line. I will go on the side, I will make a freeze, as I showed before, and out of the freeze, I'm gonna use the jump, which is the second step I show you, and I'm gonna land on the other arm. I'll just show you quickly how it looks like. Boom, boom. Okay, okay, I do it again, slowly. I have a line, I go to the freeze, boom. And as you can see, I started with the freeze, I jump, and I land on the freeze. Now to make this happen, it's not magic, it's not because Marcel is showing it that it's easy like that, I show you slowly, step by step, how this goes like. First, when I'm going to the freeze, as you see, I'm driving my body with a power and a rotation movement in the left. So it means that my legs, everything comes as a rotation. If I wanted to do a single freeze, I will just lock my shoulder here and I will come back, as I showed it in the beginning. Now what am I doing is I'm letting the power and I see my hand going, so I give like an opening to my whole body, open body, and I'm open which means if I let it, I fall on my back, but if I push, I land in the other side. Now comes how to use the push to land exactly from one freeze to land the same level in the other one. So if I started to explain you from here, here I am in one freeze, I have to jump and make here. So there's many possibility direction to go. If I just make a straight one, which means I use my legs to push down here, it's gonna look like this, a freeze, so as you can see, I'm going fast, I'm traveling low, but when I land, I have not much like point of high with my body to control what I can do after that. So first thing, I showed you the transition from one arm to another with this direction. Now I will use the jump high as I did in the beginning, the simple jump, and it will look like this. As a lot of people try and make exactly the same one and think, how do the hell it goes to another one? It's simply, what I did now, I jump with my legs here. And at the same time, I try to drive my body on the other side. So if you make a little calcul mathematics, this one work, too low. This one work, but I can't land in the other one. So I gotta cross it like this, which means that I have to push with my legs in that direction. Why? Because I wanna travel from here to here. So I'll show you how it is. I go here, drive, boom. And I do it again, freeze, boom. And as you can see, I can have so many possibilities when I land in the second arm that I can play with it later on. Now comes the level when I want to show you the move I want to do. So as I showed you, it's just a transition from one arm to another. No rotation. I mean, not this rotation, just a line. Now for a simple hair flare, which everybody know my hair flare, I just open my legs and I show you slowly how it looks. Boom, freeze here, freeze here. And you see, it's exactly the same technique as the show before. Everybody know what a hefle is, how the hefle looks like. So I specialized myself out of many years of dancing to create my own moves. One of them that I'm gonna show now, I don't have a specific name for it. I think, I guess, 
It's my, just my ID, one of my ID moves. So I just show you right now like this, how it looks like without jumping in hair flare. And then I go to the hair flare to show you how it looks like. So when I'm landing in from hair flare, I'm going to touch one feet in this position. What I'm going to, is the landing arm that I'm in. I'm going to jump without touching the floor, change the same one that I grab and arrive in the second one. And then from here, I'm going to push and do the same thing again. So as you can see, there's the moment of the landing. I'm push and nothing of my body touch the floor and I have to switch the feet to land in the second arm. So in theory, when you think about it, there's something really fast that I have to do because so if I'm here and this is the floor, right? If I'm here and I'm touching and I push and I switch to here, it's not even like quarter to a second to make it happen, which means that I have to turn my body and my hip real quick, switch my arm real quick, and move my feet real quick. So it's a lot of things together in a really short time. So let's go back to mathematics, which is a little bit there. I'm gonna land, if I land here in the front, that you can see the possibility of timing until I put a second one is too short. So I got to think to get more time to play in the air without touching the floor, I got to land here. So which means on a freeze. If I jump from here and I arrive here, as you can see, there's a lot of more space of time to play and make any move that I want to. So from this one, touching a feet here to another, I have to turn my whole body in one. So to make that work, first of all, you got to work into, without making the hair flare, to make just the front transition clear. So, okay, so you make this exercise a couple times to have a feeling how fast is it that your brain understands what the body needs to do in a really short time. If you try to make it Without this exercise, what is going to happen is going to, you land on your one arm, you're going to jump, and without even realize you're going to land in the second one again, and you're going to think, shit, I didn't even thought that I had the time to make it, and nothing changed. You just jump from one arm to another. So this exercise is one of the most important tools that you need to work on to understand the transition. Let's say that this is my move. Let's say that this is, out of my move, this is a technique. The technique that you understand on the really short time, how to move your leg, to move your body, how to jump, and how to change the shape, the speed, all in one, in a quarter than a second, you need to understand that those exercises, those part of control, give you a lot of possibilities for any type of movement that you can think about, that you can create. So out of this move, what you can learn, this is what I'm giving you to you, is a space of time and a control that you can get out of an idea. And about that, you can give to your body a possibility to create your own, your own stuff. So if the person who's watching this video wanna make the same move and wanna practice it, take it. Because out of it, the work that I've done for so many years about controlling and about looking for moves, that part of the control will give you the knowledge about how your body and your possibilities of control can make. So now I'm gonna just show you slowly out of the hair flare how the move goes on. Okay, so as you can see just what I did before, it goes really fast, so I stopped about one. But you just have a time to understand, even visually, you know what the move is about. But all I explained before makes you realize the quarter of second that it is to just from one arm to another, change the whole shape. So let's say that that move is mine. Whatever the part of it, whatever the ID belongs to, that control that I worked on give me possibilities to play and make every single position that I want to in a half -hand. So. If you take a minute to think about it, that is just an example of every type of move that you can think about. Every direction, 
control moves that you find that nobody does. There is so much knowledge to get into that. If you apply this kind of techniques that I just do, if you add that into your own ID, your own moves, your original ID, you became yourself. And this is what I'm working on, just become who you really are and not who the people looks like or who you get inspired to. Just create your own knowledge, body, control, creativity, all that. Okay guys, this was B-Boy Marcio, break advice, and I hope this really advised you. Cheers. Now recognize. Now recognize. Now recognize. Break advice.